and flopping paper on a table before saying, we're going to the peaceful mansion. And let's start. Tsuragite da. Sore doko. Totazu. Ne yo toshtara. Neburi wa uru tsai. To. Iwan bakari ni te o furi. I kara tabero o mae ga shitsu koku kiku mae ni kotae de yaro to ite o cha o nonda. Okay, so he replied, Sorry, do. Let's start with Tazuneru. Tazuneru. Tazune yo tostara. Tazuneru. Tazuneru is a verb that means. Tazuneru. While he tried to ask, Hi. So try to is kind of close. That'd be um slightly different, but oto suru means to attempt, which is very similar to try. But it's kind of saying I was a when I was about to ask what? When I was about to ask nobody, uh um when I was about to ask where is that? Sore doko. Nebri he urusai to i wan bakari ni. Here's bakari ni meaning just he he only so do a, ending sorry. with a ni lets us know that this is not like the end of the clause. Ending with the ni in this case was bakari. Which is not a location, right? It's not a location. So we can assume that this is a adverb. It's something that's describing the verb, which is furi. Do you know what teo furu means? Teo furu. He's waving his hand. So, so in what way did he wave his hand? He's gesturing as if to say, urusai, urusai to iwan. Yeah. Iwan bakari ni means to, as if to say. So he, that's how he gestured. Iwan bakari ni, as if to say. But money, bakari by itself mean what? Um, It kind of sounds like the word for only. Yeah, it means simply because of. So it can mean as if. Iwan bakari as if, bakari? as if to say, as much as to say. Oh. So bakari by itself meaning only this. Sure. Only nothing but. Mm. Merely nothing but, but nothing but. So, okay, so as if to say, urusai. Um, but this is what he actually say. He say, i kara tabero. It's okay. Eat up. Omae ga shitsukoku. You are shitsukoku kiku. Well, it ends with ku, so this is probably an adverb, right? Though kiku here is a verb, because mae is a noun. Mm, so, obstinate. And uh, then kiku, persistent. Kiku here meaning to ask. Hi. But with a different kanji. Um, this kanji makes it very obvious that it's probably asking versus listening. Um, the other kiku 
can mean either, but you use this kanji to make it like feel like they're asking the question. It, it just has that extra little kink of questionness. Iku, maeni. Before you ask, hi. Um. Kotaete yaro. Give the answer. Hmm. Yes, it does say give. Um. How does yaru and ageru work when someone's saying it? Who gives if someone uses these words? Here is the subject. So, mm, oh my God, you give. Oh if it was goodness. you give, we'd use um, morao. Morao. I morale. give. That would mean you give. I give would be, uh, sorry. So if, if you're telling somebody to give someone else something, you're more likely to use morao than ageru. Ageru can be used in the third person where you're saying some third person person gives another third person person something. But that wouldn't make any sense in this context because we have nebody and we have con. We don't really have a third person here talking, right? So we know that these two people are talking to each other, nebody and con. So um you so if if nobody wanted to say that Khan was to give him something, nobody would use the word morao. If nobody wanted Khan to give him something, he could also use kuredu. Um, but morao is the making Khan give him something. Right? Here we have yaru, which is the more aggressive um form of ageru. So people yaru toward things like pets, or in this case, a random boy. Yaru, which, as you're right, means to give. So the person giving with this sentence, because as I told you, we know there's two people talking here, Nevery, the person talking, and Khan, the person listening. Because that's the information we have, we know for 100% certainty that Nevery is the one giving. Because if Khan was giving Nebody something, we wouldn't be using Yaru. We'd be using Morao or Kureru. Specifically, um, Morao to be like, to be more givey versus Kureru mean I receive. All right. So he said, before I reply, to your persistent questioning. That's a good guess. It says, um, I'm going to answer your questions before you ask your persistent questions. I'm going to reply. Answer. Before Hi. you ask persistent, persistently. So if this is a persistence kind of mean like annoying. And I guess very obstinate is the word. Tenaciously. Hi. Um, to eat that. That is what he said. Hi. O cha o nonda. And then he drank the tea. Perfect. So, i kara. You translated this correctly, but you didn't actually get the feeling behind this. It does literally say, that's good, so eat. But it doesn't actually have that kind of connotation, weirdly enough. It has a different connotation, which is basically like the word listen to me. Like, it's fine. It's good because I say it's good. That's what the ikara means. It's because it's good, but it's good because I said it's good. That makes sense. It's um. kind of like aggressive ikara. Um, if you were doing more like it's okay, like that more passive feeling, you would actually use a if here, like uh, tabetemoi, for example. You'd move things around, being it's fine if you eat. So it's just like a little interesting contextual clue, but that's not like a grammatical thing. It's just like an interesting thing about how e kind of work, which is literally, like you said, that's good because that's good, but it feels it's a much more aggressive word. Of like, 
don't worry about it, right? Yeah, Never don't mind. worry. Never mind. Never mind that. Eat. It's a great way of putting it. Uh, and it usually goes before a command. Yes. Or an emphasis. Yeah. I don't so think listen that, yeah, up, always. boy. Mm -hmm. All right. And then Yatsura Gite wa Wermeto no Chu Chu e o Chu Mm, uh, should be chu shin, but now I'm doubting myself. Chu o, I was wrong. Chu o. Chu o. Hi. Chu o. Chu o o. Nagureru, nagareru, kawa no nakasu ni hatsu tetaku de. She wa no shumaida. Let's start with our shumaida. first class. Yasura gite wa wurumeta no chuo nagare du kawa no nakusu ni tatsu te taku de. So at the mansions that stand in the uh in the um the in the middle of the river uh that flows through the center of what where met um is the uh yatsuri yatsuragite the what does peaceful... nakasu mean nakasu Nakasu. Right. Nakasu, Nakasu is um, the um, inlets, the yes. middle, the part. Perfect. The... And how about this de right here? What is this de telling us? The de is a da in the continuum. Yeah, it is da in te form. So it's so meaning and have, in this context. We have the a, a wa b da construction but except it's in the continuous form so yasuragi te is the following it is the mansions in the in the sandbar in the, the middle of the river built that, in the sandbar that right. flows through wermeto right and then he say washi my washi, washi no, no sumai so my my what sumai right Asumai money? No, sumai. sumai. Uh, oh, su sumai, it comes from sumu, which is to live, because sumai is a dwelling. So he's saying it's my house. Um, It's kind my of way, old man Japanese-y. It is my house. Right. Sono nijunen toyu mono. Rusu ni Shite ita gana. So toyu toyu mono. Here mean it is the thing, and then toyu is the description of the thing. It is the thing that for 20 years, for these 20 years, uh, absent. Hi. It is the it is the absent. Oh my goodness! Uh, so the mono describes no one in house. Rusu. Rusu ni. Shite ita. Ita ga. Na. So, however, I'm having a hard time with this one way. Mm, so this is, however, you're right. That's a ga. And then it has a na here. That's just that vocal sigh. So he say, so his first sentence was, oh, it's my house. But it's been abandoned. No one's been living in it for about 20, these last 20 years. So in English, we start sentences with but. In Japanese, they end the sentence with but. And that's just what makes it confusing. 
Hmm. It end the sentence with but. Yeah. But the Japanese, okay, so but it's not. Even though it's his house, he has not lived in it for 20 years. So you, you kind of see how there'd be that but right there. So no, but it it has been abandoned for these 20 years. Then he said, um ほかの他にも他にも聞く聞き聞きたいことがあったので口を開きかけたらまたねぶりにさえぎられた Saigira, um, saigiru is to interrupt, and then saige dareru, which is passive form. Saegi dareru is to interrupt. To interrupt. Saegiru, saegi dareru, saegi dareru. So what do you think is being interrupted? Kan or nebudi in the sentence? Here it says, Mata nebudi ni. By nebudi. Once again, by nebudi. Right. Um, mm, so, Khan was interrupted. By nebudi. Right. Um, and then here, what did it say here? No, that because... Because of co of the kiki tai koto ga atta no de. What does that mean? Hmm. I feel like atta tends to confuse you. I feel like this confuses you a couple of times. That's just the past tense of aru. Just the past tense of aru. Right. So it's just there was. A there koto. was. There was, there was. So there was a place. That's tokoro. This is oh, koto. Thing. Basically, kikitai cannot touch ga. That's how I'll explain it to you. There, there are not a lot of touch, kikitai and ga. They're, they can't touch because ga can only touch nouns. And for all intents and purposes, kikitai is a adjective. So... In order for the adjective to touch ga, this adjective verb, it needs to have something put between it and ga. The choices are going to be koto or no. No refers to one specific thing, and you actually can't really use no whenever you have to use words normally, because you don't normally say one word, you normally say multiple words. Mm. So... And he probably has more than one thing he wants to ask anyway. More than one question anyway. So he said, Hokani mo. Hokani mo. Um, Hoka meaning he means other. Other. Ni mo is yet more. So furthermore. Furthermore, I want to ask yet more questions. That's a I I want to ask even more. Yeah, it, the I it, I would say Hokanimo means like other questions. I want to ask other more, questions. even more. However, in addition, I would say it's more. In addition, <laughs> more in this additionally, I want to ask even more. Additionally, <laughs> and then he said, "Kuchio hiraki ka ke tara." compound word right here what is he saying he's saying the most important part the most important part here is the hiraku kuchyo hiraku about to open right yeah hiraku is to open kakeru doesn't mean about to with kakeru with things having to do with talking like hanashi kakeru and things like that that basically means to start a conversation so hiraki kakeru means to start opening your mouth for the purpose of talking. 
to start, right? Takiru right. is about to in 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 the act of sure. Kake kakeru kaketara. So when I was when I was to open my mouth, mata neburi ni saegira reta. Once again, by neburi, I was interrupted. Saegi rareta. Okay. Um. Nagaku Rusuni. Shiteta Ryu wa Kikuna He said uh, the reason that there was such long absence um Don't ask. Exactly. Don't ask. The subject of the sentence is con, but the topic is the reason. Kikuna. Don't ask. Don't ask the reason why it was gone for so long. It was abandoned for so long. Uh, sono mukashi. Ima no tokoro wa sore de mo i. Kedo. Oh, I'm sorry. I went past it. Okay. Uh, sono mukashi iza ko iza koza ga atta no da. Right. Iza koza just means to have like trouble in something for complications. Long, uh, it's Long ago, sono mukashi. Iza goza, complication, atta no da. There was complication. Hi. Just so you know, the reason why sono is here is that it's that long ago that was previously kind of mentioned or insinuated. So sometimes you'll hear like mukashi mukashi, and that's like a generic long ago, like long, long ago. So here we know he's talking about something that happened 20 years ago, because that was the time period he's talking about They're just saying that long ago which we really can't say in english i don't just say like that time like sono toki i just take out the long part but that just would depend on how you wanted to translate it hmm. it, was, it was complication long ago ma ima no koto tokoro wa sore de mo well, now, Tokoro here referring to the time. So, just about now, mm, that, sore de, sore de mo, ii kedo, it is okay. However, Hi. this is hard for me, Mani. So, tokoro, which is something you have to like really like hammer in. Tokoro is place and time. It's not going to be one or the other. It's always going to have both meanings into it. So, ima, of course, is making us focus more about the time. But ima no tokoro means the current situation right now. The current time, the current place. So that is right now con eating dinner, basically, eating breakfast. So for this specific time, sore de, which is just with that, and even is making it more questioning, like just with that. So just with the statement that um, it was some trouble a while ago, then that's fine, I guess. So he's basically saying, we'll leave it for now, is what we'd say in English. Use sore de mo i for now. Okay, so, so he say first he say um right about now this at this time Hi. at this time and place ima no tokoro wa at this time and place 
just leave it. It's okay. Yeah, it's fine to leave that as it is. As it is. So it kind of insinuates that he wants more data at some point in the future. Hmm. So that's what that's the Imano Tokoro telling us. Like at this specific point in time and situation, that the information you've given me, that is fine. But this, I might want this, more later. This is this is uh Khan thinking this to himself. Yes. As you can tell, there's no actual quotation marks. And then Khan further thinks, Ore wa unazuite mata mafen o hito kuchi ka chita. So he say, I, I nodded in agreement. Ore wa onazuite. And then mata one more time, muffin o hito kuchi. So hito kuchi is is a mouthful. I'm guessing Hi. like a gob, a mouthful. And what did he do with the mouthful? He kajita. He gnawed it. He Hi. he munch. He munch a mouthful do. of muffin. Yep. Nom nom nom. Kachiru. Okay, hi. Hi. Uh, omae wa kizui toran daro ga. Kono machi wa ima taihen na. Koto ni natte oru. Perfect. So, can you tell what Toran was supposed to be? I think it's like Toranai, right? Yep, Toranai. Toranai. It's the contraction of Toru. Toru. Hi. Omae wa kizui. So don't don't, don't what does daro mean? Daro is maybe. Maybe is a okay way of thinking about it. I would say in general, probably about 99% of the time would be a better way of translating it than maybe, just because of how the connotation tends to work in English. Like, she's maybe at the store versus she's probably at the store. You can see how she's maybe at the store does not sound right as an English speaker. It sounds wrong. She's maybe at the store. You want to say she's probably at the store. Um, so Doro is closer to probably. Maybe is more like tabun or a little, little bit of like other words. Um, I'm not really sure why those words are different in English. That's kind of weird. Probably um, Toran. Kizui. Omae wa kizui. Toran. So you... not, to, not to be careful. Mm -hmm. You are not careful. Probably. Right? Mommy? You could do that. Um, you are not careful properly. So careful is um ki o tuku. This is because if you're being careful, that's something you're physically deciding to do. Careful is not a thing that comes to be naturally for people. You have to be careful. You have to put yourself in the mindset that you're going to be careful. It's not a passive idea. That's why ki ga tsuku, on the other hand, just means to be aware. You can't actually be careful without having the o, without attaching your notice to something. This is only passively noticing. So a past, so he's just saying you have not passively noticed rather than saying you have not been doing cautious noticing. So in other words, this means you have not, um, you probably haven't noticed yet, is what he's saying. From Kizuku to notice, and then 
Toran from Toranai. So you have not taken notice yet. However, you have not taken notice yet. However, Konomachi wa ima, this town right now, taihen na koto ni na ta oru, is in a state of danger. Hi. Difficulties. So Ninata is becoming right. Be basically something horrible is happening to the city. Kotoninata is from Kotoninaru. Hi. Is is the result of hmm? the outcome of that's what the dictionary is saying. This dictionary is confusing. Kotoninaru is to have been decided or to, or to be the result of so I suppose I could work with past tense because not that mean it already became this is not te though which is current tense not they do to be becoming it is currently bad things are happening right now to the city currently Currently, bad thing. Currently, bad things are become are happening to the city. Currently, bad things happening to the city. Right. Wakata. Marioku ga. Marioku ga. Um. Marioku ga. Uh. Q Q Q he. Geki. Q geki. Q geki. Hi. Means sudden. In a dramatic kind of way. Kyugeki. Sudden. Kyugeki ni. In a sudden manner. Uh, hette iru. Is decreasing. Uh, da. Hette iru da. No da. Uh, what decreased? Marioku. In what way did it decrease? It's kyugeki ni. Kyugeki ni. And it's hette iru no da. Uh, long years is naganen. Right. Naganen ni. Um. For a long time now. What the? What the? Let's read the whole sentence first, and then you can split it up to smaller bits. Right. Naganen ni watatte shikoshi zu zutsu. Ette kita ga saishou saishou ni natte um sara ni kyu ni heishou it's actually genshou genshou shita ra shi hai first off what is our subject of the sentence it's not written in this specific sentence but it was mentioned in the sentence before Right, so it was Kono Machi. Good guess. Our sentence, our subject is actually Marioku. Ah. Marioku. Ah. That I... is our subject. Machi is our topic, or was our topic. But Marioku ga. So magic is decreasing and it decreased by a large a percent. So, Nagane ni watatte. You know what this means? Um. It was known. Wataru? That's a good guess. You're thinking about wakaru. Wataru, um, with a ta, not a ka, is talking about something crossing, so time crossing, time passing, in other words. So over the past couple of years, what has been happening? Over the past couple of years, um, shikoshi. Shikoshi jutsu. Shikoshi jutsu, shikoshi jutsu, jutsu. Hette kita. It had come to decrease. Hi. What has been small. decreasing? Marioku. Hi. And how much has it been decreasing when we're talking about shikoshi jutsu? Jutsu is a, is a slow, um, is slowly. Yeah, bit by bit. 
and squishy is the little part. So zutsu that means bit by bit, and squishy is the little. So bit by bit, squishy zutsu. So magic has been going lower bit by bit over the long years. Ga. Um, squishy zutsu. Uh, however, sai sai kin in recent time. Hi. Perfect. It had become in recent time. Yep. That Sara ni even more. Um even more uh Q ni Q ni sudden rap like right. uh, rapid. Um Gen shop decrease Gen shop to decrease um Shitara she Suru Nendra she is to seem so it seems and then Ima Oh, I stopped there. Okay. Oh, sorry. You, you didn't, um, you, you did the parts of it, but you didn't like flow it all together. <laughs> so all together is, it seems there are drastic decrease in recent time. Uh, of what? A magical power. Right. What happened before this recent time? How was it decreasing before in then? Lot, many years, many years pass. In many years pass, it had decreased steadily. Hi. However, in recent time, it had become drastically decreased. It Perfect. seems. Hi. And that is where we're going to stop right here. And we'll continue in the next slide. See ya.